Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be demonstrating 40 minutes of familiarization at Water Fiends. This isn't really a guide, but hey, I'm someone who prefers to speak rather than crack up music on a video. So what is familiarization? Well, it's basically a weekly distraction and diversion. When you complete the distraction and diversion, you get a triple charms drop card, which lasts 40 minutes. I'm not going to explain too much about how the D&D works. The current location I'm using is Ancient Caverns. I teleported there using a ferocious ring to Curadel. Then I climbed down the stairs. For equipment setup, I'm using Ascensions with full Armadale set and Slayer helmet. But since I killed them really fast, I also brought an Armadale helmet switch. That way I can do extra damage when my Slayer task is complete. I don't think it's worth it to have to go back to a Slayer Master and get another task. I mean it does take a couple minutes to do so. Amulet of Zaylots, as I mentioned many times, is the best amulet for combat and Slayer training. It does more damage than other amulets when using Leech Curses. Any combat style works here, but I use range because water fiends do hit quite hard. Before they used to be very weak, and sometimes you don't even need food or soul split for the entire task. However, they do hit quite hard and accurate with range and magic attacks. I actually tested this with mage earlier today and it was quite brutal. Mage had a lot of AoE abilities, so they basically piled on me. I couldn't even soul split back all the damage I did. You'll probably see later in the video when I fight an elite water fiend. For inventory setup, I brought supreme overloads and super prayer renewals. Two of each, because each full flask only lasts 36 minutes. I'm using super prayer potions because I have a ton of spares. You'll need 10 regular prayer potions here if you don't have them. Spring cleaner is optional here since water fiends occasionally drop rune helmet. Enhanced Excalibur is used for any extra healing, and Ring of Vigor for when using Death Swiftness. Don't worry about Demon Horn Necklace, as I had this in my inventory for other Slayer loadouts. Charming Imp is in my tool belt. The familiar I'm using is Steel Titan. I'm going for max DPS here, as their special attack scrolls are really powerful. You don't really need a Pakyak or Legendary Pet for their inventory space, as Water Fiends don't have a really good loot. For those who are unaware of how to use combat familiars, you basically click the familiar settings and set auto fire to 1. That way it will permanently cause your familiar to hit a special attack as often as possible, provided that they have enough special attack points. You can also bring summoning potions if you want the special attack move more often, but I personally don't use them. Spirit cape also helps here, and completionist cape retains the effects of it. The prayer I'm using is leech range strength and soul split. In my action bar I'm using revolution. Here is the following order preference for basic abilities. Ricochet, Corruption Shot, Needle Strike, Sacrifice, Fragmentation Shot, and Piercing Shot. Corruption Shot is really amazing here, and it's unlocked by either raids or buying the codex. It's really cheap to buy the ability anyways. I tend to manually hit Snipe when I hit a Water Fiend at full HP. That way I can optimize damage. Tuskus Wrath is used here to one-hit KO the Water Fiends. Pretty much the Thresholds can also one-hit KO the Water Fiends easily. Try to save Adrenaline for Death Swiftness. For those who are wondering how I'm getting 6 charms per kill, the time I recorded this video was on Slayer Weekend. One of the cool features about this is you can get an additional charm per kill. That means that it would drop 2 charms per kill instead of 1. For multiple charm dropping monsters however, you would only add 1. For example, that means that a Steel Dragon which normally drops 3 charms at once, would drop 4 charms with Slayer Weekend. Another cool thing about this weekend is, Familiarization Triple Charm buff actually stacks with the bonus charm. And to make this even more overpowering, it actually multiplies the charms by 3 after the additional charm is added. Essentially you'd get 6 charms per kill like I said. So the Slayer task of 351 Water Fiends took me 27 minutes. If I were to calculate the XP per hour, I would get 729k range XP per hour and 261k Slayer XP per hour. The combat to Slayer XP ratio seems too wide, but still a great task. For the rest of the time, I totaled 487k range XP on my tracker. It seems like it barely makes a difference in my kill speed, whether I'm on task or not. However, for lower level players, it may not be the case, as you'll need the extra accuracy and damage. I think Water Fiends are a decent task, but I don't consider it one of the best tasks to prefer, because I find it boring when there's no good profit drops. So with Slayer Weekend and Familiarization, I got 2,487 Crimson Charms in 40 minutes. This should be around 410 Crimson Charms without any charm boosts. Based on this test, it should be around 600 Crimson Charms per hour, which is pretty amazing if you ask me. I tested another 40 minutes at Chaos Tunnels, but I was nowhere close to Ancient Caverns. I got around 2.1k Crimson Charms there, although it's actually less crowded there, 
since most people tend to kill water fiends in the ancient caverns. So are there any other better places to test familiarization? I can name a few places, but I probably won't test them anytime soon. Maybe cannoning Dagonauts is also nice too, but I don't feel like spending money on this. Placers are really nice too, but I'm not great at killing them fast. Calgarian demons are also amazing blue charm droppers. They're annoying to kill however. I think there are a few others I could test too. So yeah, thanks for watching and I hope it helps. If I missed anything, feel free to ask.